So today in the channel, we're going to look at recreating this look using this footage here and turning it into this look here. G'day, how are you all going? I'm doing all right. I have a slight headache from drinking slightly too much wine last night. So today we're going to be looking at how we can make that look with this footage here. Now, before I go on, I just want to say if you ever want to see a grade from a film, a commercial or a music video or anything like that, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to recreate it for you. And if there's anything in Resolve that you're unsure about, tool or effect or anything like that, and you'd like to see a video about that, again, leave a comment below. More people who comment, the more chance we have turning this mediocre channel into a slightly better mediocre channel. That's all you can hope for in life. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to normalize this footage. Now, what I mean by that is normally we'd use a color space transform, but because I'm going to do everything in the free version today, we're going to go to our project settings down here. We're going to go to color management. We're going to go to the color science and we're going to select DaVinci YRGB color manage. And what that is going to do is turn that footage from this plain boring look into this look. So it's basically just setting your whites and your blacks, adding contrast and saturation. It's taking the footage you shot on the day and recreating it in DaVinci Resolve. So basically what I shot on the day, this is what it should look like. It shouldn't look like the flat version we had before. You should always start your grade off in the easiest way possible because color grading isn't all about making 400 nodes. It's about making a quick workflow. And this is the best step to do that. So I would highly recommend starting your project off that way and not grading from raw or log footage. Alrighty, so we're gonna match this look here. So as you can see, it is very bluey green in the shadows and he has a very orangey yellow face. So he has a really nice color contrast. The more you look at this image, the weirder it looks, <laughs> but I can assure you, I have not touched this. This is what it looks like from the trailer. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create two more nodes. And this is the setup I like to use all the time. So the first one, we're gonna call it EXP for exposure. Second one's gonna be our contrast node. And third one we'll call SAT for saturation. Now we're gonna make another node, so Alt S, and we're gonna turn this node into a layer node, so Alt L. Now we do this because we use a layer node to key out this guy's skin, which will help us later on down the track when we start making our look. That way we can isolate the skin from all the other stuff that's gonna be happening around this dude. So let's make a, another node and we're gonna call this one look. And then this node here, the layer, uh, layer node, yeah, that's right. We'll call it skin for skin tones because that makes sense. Now Alt S to make another node and we'll make Two more nodes. So now we have our little setup here. Exposure, contrast, saturation, our layer node, which is our skin node, our look node, and then these ones here, which will be our secondaries. I mean, skin is secondary, but you know what I mean. Alrighty, so first of all, in our exposure, let's just bring down some of these mid-tones and some of the whites and a little bit more. Okay, that looks pretty nice. Now in our contrast, we're gonna make a simple contrast curve and go up to these three little lines here, edible splines, because we love edible splines. Make a simple, simple curve, because as you can see, this is quite a dark image. This is very dark, um, and this is obviously very dark. Now, if we go back to our frame, obviously this is a bad frame, okay? I'm not a cinematographer, as you can tell, and this orange light here was supposed to represent this light here, but my apartment is very small, so it was very hard to emulate that look. So today it's more about skin tones and the shadows, you know, the, the greeny look, the contrast between skin and shadows. Now in a saturation node, we'll just leave it for now. It looks pretty well saturated because we've added contrast and adding contrast adds saturation. Now in our skin node, let's start to qualify this guy's skin out. So actually going to do a simple power window around his face to make it easier for ourselves. Something like that looks pretty good. And let's just get a little bit soft. Now we're going to track this. Uh, we don't need perspective 3D, so we can take that off. Anything that you're not going to use, just take off and resolve. will actually track it faster. So these two little arrows here, it'll go backwards. Uh, sorry, <laughs> it'll go forwards. And then I'll, <clears throat> and then it'll go backwards. So as you can see, it's going in. 
Uh, I quite liked the John Wick trailer. I thought it was very good. The new one, um, not the one from three months ago. I thought the music was really good. The uh, Nas remix was good. It's a good song already, so that was good to hear. A very uh, good pace to the film clip. Told a story without telling the whole story, which is very important to me. You don't want to give too much away, but plenty of cool-looking action. I think John Wick's a pretty good film. Uh, the first two were pretty good. The third one I thought was, you know, not the best, but it was still entertaining. All right, now we have a track, and my speech is done. Now, we're just going to leave this for now. We'll come back to it later. I do have a mark on my head. I bumped my head the other day. That is blood. That's just not fake blood. All righty, now let's go to our curves. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of this red out. Oh, actually, we're going to take edible splines out. Let's do that again. All righty, so... Somewhere about there looks pretty good. Alrighty, so now we have already made a huge change with one little curve. Now I chose to do the look in this node because we're going to be making that greeny look and we could have done it with the lift, but I wanted to avoid the shadows because if you look at this image here, this is actually still true black. So I don't want my whole image just to be one big green blob. Alrighty, so now let's add some green blob. Like so, even around here a bit more. Now it is greeny blue, not just green. So let's see if we can emulate that. It needs to be a little bit more bluer, which is fine. Only just started, so no need to stress. Looking pretty good so far. One of the big changes we need to do is we need to bring some of this exposure down. What we can do is, on this node here, we're going to call this one DE, Down Exposure. <laughs> that is an awful, awful name. And we're going to go to our Hue versus Luminance. Now, we want to bring the brightness of the green and the blues down, and that's going to give us a fuller color. So the darker your colors, the richer they are. So let's bring this down a fair bit, like so. Now, we're not quite there yet, but we have a really nice start. Again, we need to be a little bit darker. So in our exposure, let's just bring it down even more. Looking pretty good so far. We need to go slightly greener. As you see his beard around here and here, he's slightly greener. And what you can actually do is go to the image and then make a point to see where those colors are sitting. So as you can see, it's in the lower mids. And again, it's in the shadow areas. So we can go back to our image we're working on, which was this one here and get rid of this, this. Just add a little bit more blue in. And then a little bit more green in. Bring our image across. Tell you what, we're looking pretty good so far. I reckon all we really have to do is match those skin tones, and maybe slightly darken our image down again, but all in all, I think we look pretty good. I think we need to bring our blacks down a bit more. As you can see, his hair is jet black, still with a lot of green in it. So we can go back to our contrast node. We can just bring it down even further. Yeah, looking very good. We just need to maybe bring this down a little bit more. So in our skin node, let's choose a little output here and connect it up to this triangle here. So as you can see, now our look is only affecting our skin tones, which we don't want. It's actually giving a really interesting looking image though, but let's ignore that for now. What we can do is go to our look and go to our key, our key output, sorry, and then just click this. Now as you can see, our skin tones are being bypassed from our look. That means the look isn't affecting our skin tones, which why our skin tones look absolutely awful. And we need to fix up this a lot better. We are spilling over the edge. Yeah, we need to bring it right in. We actually need to fix up our selection a lot better. We actually didn't make a selection. That's okay. We can make the selection now. We should have made the selection before. I can't believe I forgot that. But it is what it is. And then we just have to deal with it. So you should always make your selection first. But that's okay. We'll be fine. Okay, let's bring up some of this 
I'm going to soften this up a lot. And then we want to really blur it as much as possible. Oops. Let's bring in that just a little bit more. Okay. Now we need to fix this up. It's a little bit wonky. So let's see if we can feather it. There we go. Cool. Okay, looks like we have a pretty good key. What we can do now is bring our other image across. See if we can match it. So obviously we're very red. So we want to avoid that look. So using an offset wheel, we're just going to bring it down till we hit something that is very similar. Now I'm not the biggest fan of this look, but for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to go for that look. Okay, it looks pretty good. I think we're a little bit too dark. So I'll just go up a tiny little bit. Cool. Alrighty. I mean, that looks really good. We blended in very nicely. Bring it across just a little bit more. I think we need to just add a little bit of pink into these skin tones. Probably a little bit too much. It's a fine line. My cheeks are quite red, but <laughs> this is how my cheeks are. We should add a little bit of lift. A little bit of color in those shadows, I think. Let's go to our log wheel and just add a little bit of highlights. Uh, sorry, a little bit of teal into those highlights to break up our skin a little bit more. There we go. So that looks really good. I think we've really matched the image quite well. We have a nice bluey teal look going on. Maybe it could be slightly bluer. Let's bring up the old vector scope. And we'll go double. Double zoom, I mean. Now, in this image here, obviously the red. So just ignore that red. But you want to be looking at this area here. So looking at ours, we look very good. Let's go to our blue, and I want to sort of stay out those really dark areas. So, okay, that looks good. So just pushing a little bit more blue in to those darker areas. Cool. So I think we have a really good looking image. If you look at our vector scope down here, as you can see, we are cyan blue, which is this kind of color around here. And our image is also around that color there. We have no separation between the uh, bluey teals with our skin tones. We probably could have gone more yellow, I guess, with our skin tones, but I think ours look quite good. It doesn't look unnatural, and I think that's important. So we've gone from this image here to this image here with not that many adjustments, just making some adjustments in the custom curves. Now, the only problem is, is that this area here is Gross. Definitely doesn't match this red here, but I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I have a very small apartment, so it was kind of hard to get that look. I had a better version, but my framing was worse, so I decided to use this frame. I think it looks better. Now, we could actually remove this thing here, so I'm going to do that now. So in this node here, see, again, you don't have to do this, like, honestly, unless you also have a cut on your head. And it doesn't really matter. So we're going to use object removal. So that's our grade for today. So what do you reckon? Pretty close? Not close enough? Good? Let me know in the comments below and let me know if you want to see anything else. Hope you had a great day. I've had a very headache full day, but that's okay. My own fault. Can't complain. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day and uh, see you next time.